Welcome to week four. This week we're gonna tone things down a little bit and show you some new fun exercises. The first one is going to be single leg balance. This is really important for skiing because you do a lot of driving through a single leg. Also works the standing leg glute and you should keep your core tight because that'll allow you to balance um, more easily. So you can do it on any surface. You can just do it on the ground. You can do it on a folded towel or a pillow. Ideally, you have something that's unstable. So tonight we're going to be standing on a dyna disc and then throwing a ball back and forth to each other. Lighter balls are easier. We're going to have a 10 pound ball tonight. So we'll see how that goes. It could be challenging. So that's your first exercise, single leg balance. We'll do it for 30 seconds each leg. Next exercise is going to be what we call a lion, and it's a back extensor strengthener. So what's important here is even though you're extending through your back, you're keeping that low belly tight and your hips and your ribs um, pulled together and engaged. So your belly is gonna be up off the floor, even though you're extending up. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna lie on your stomach, arms come out front, and you're gonna extend back and out and back and out. And what I'm doing is I'm pulling my belly up away from the ground, I'm rooting my pubic bone to the ground, and keeping my legs nice and strong. If you want, you can let your feet come up off the ground. Those are called lions. So the next exercise is a variation on a lunge. I call it an up and over. So you're gonna start out um, holding any kind of weight. I'd say anything five to 10 pounds to start is good. And you're gonna get into a lunge position, feet wide so you have a good base of support. You're gonna lunge down and hold your arms out in front as, you, as far in front as you can where you can keep your core engaged because now if your hands are out, it's a longer lever and it's gonna cause strain to the low back. So as always, keep that core tight. And you're gonna simultaneously come up and pivot and then lunge down the other way and you're just gonna rotate up and over and down for a minute. So the key is you keep your core engaged and the leg that's in front is the, always the, the hip and the leg that you're driving up from to be strong. The next exercise is going to be a side plank. And so what you're gonna do as we've done these before is get on your side, Shoulders stay stacked on top of each other, core is engaged. And if you want to add a variation, you can do a thread the needle, but only if you can maintain a strong straight body so that the axis of rotation's going right down your spine. Sometimes people start to drift forward or they hinge at the hips. So you just have to make sure you're gonna add this. You're staying pretty, pretty straight, which is gonna keep you safe. Um, here you can do 30 seconds to a minute on each side, depending on how much endurance you have in that position. Tonight we'll probably be doing about 30 seconds. And then the last exercise is a lateral lunge. So what I want you to do is start in the middle, you're gonna step out, you're gonna lunge into that leg, dropping the hip back so that you can engage the core, you're gonna power up, and then come to the other side. Same thing, so you're gonna Come up and down, powering up through your glute, core's on so that you're nice and powerful. So to review, you've got a single leg balance, ball toss is optional, you're gonna move into a lion, and then the up and overs to a side plank, and then the lateral lunge. So have fun. This is Thanksgiving week, so you know, earn your turkey and enjoy.